ओके हेलो हेलो एवरीवन सो वी विल स्टार्ट दिस द लास्ट मॉड्यूल टुडे इन दिस सब्जेक्ट वी एल एस आई वी एल एस आई इंजीनियरिंग दैट इज द मॉड्यूल नंबर फोर ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट डू दिस सेटिंग ओके राइट and uh, this module is about uh, uh, this starts uh, with the uh, this starts with the uh, designing of different arithmetic building blocks uh, like adders uh, multipliers etc okay so we will see uh, those circuits uh, the design part and uh, we will also see the architecture and the uh, performance comparison of uh, each of those uh, circuits we will see uh, the di different kind of adders that are there in the literature we will see some of them not all of them but uh, we will see the uh, i think two or three types of adders which are uh, popular and important also and uh, it starts uh, with the uh introduction of full adder and we we s because i know that since we have uh, you might have also studied about it uh, many a times but uh, since this is the basic uh this is the most uh basic uh adder to design more complex adders so uh, it's mandate it's a kind of mandatory to start uh this topic with uh, this full adder circuit okay so as we know that uh, uh full adder uh is a circuit uh in the terms in terms of block diagram we, we can represent it like this so it will have it ha it is having three inputs uh, let's say a b and c in okay and these all these are single bit inputs so it's having three single bit input signals and it produces uh, it actually adds these three single binary bit uh, signals and it will produce one sum and one carry out signal okay so these are two output signals and these are three input signals so it's having three input signal this a let's name them as a b and ci ci is let's say that it is the carry input that's coming from the previous stage okay and it the outputs are s for sum and c uh o for carry out okay so uh, these are the input signal inputs i am writing with mouse so the writing will not be uh, that good okay the input are these ones okay and uh, s and c out are the output signals and so because uh, s we are having three uh, input signals so we will have uh how many combinations uh in total uh we can have a total of eight combinations starting from 000 okay 000 to 001 to 010 and up to 111 so basically from 00 to 7 okay so a total of eight possible combinations uh, uh might arise at the input of this full adder okay and corresponding to these uh, uh conditions uh these input signal values the corresponding output s and c, c out will be produced so let's say when a b and c i say in are zero all zeros the sum that is summation of all three bits is zero and definitely the carry output that's produced is again zero okay now when a b and c in are zero zero one when when you add these three bits the sum becomes one here okay and the carry output produced is still zero okay similar is the case here when a is zero b is one and c i is zero sum is again one and c out that is output carry produced is again a zero okay now the condition changes here in this case when a is zero b is uh, one and c i c in is uh, one so basically this is one this is one 
one plus one becomes two actually uh, numerically and for representing two in binary we represent it by one zero right so in this case the sum will become zero and the carry output becomes one and note that the carry output is the carry that's been produced from this uh, addition and it will propagate to the next stage okay this carry output from this stage will go to the next stage so so these carry output signals are having a higher weightage as compared to the sum signals okay so it is you do not read it like this 0 and 1 basically it will be 1 and 0 okay and 1 0 in binary is actually equal to 2 in decimal right okay okay now so let's go to the next stage when a is 1 b is 0 c, I, c input is 0 again it will produce when you add these three uh, signals you will get sum of 1 and carry output is again 0 okay now here uh, when a is 1 b is 0 c in is 1 uh, 1 plus 1 should be 2 so in this case carry output becomes 1 and sum remains 0 okay similar is the case here when a is 1 b is 1 ci is 0 so same result come here that is s remains at 0 and c out is still the same that is 1 okay and uh, the last case is different when all three singles are 1 here and we know that this uh, summation should be of value 3 in this case so in this case and we also know that 3 is represented by 1 1 in binary so in this case s becomes 1 and c out also becomes 1 so that we can write 1 1 in binary that is equal to 3 in decimal okay and this 3 is getting produced because we are adding 3 1 bit binary values 1 1 1 so the result should be 3 that is 1 1 ok so this is the truth table that explains that uh, explains the performance or the operation of this full adder ok that is the relation between uh, the uh, uh, output and input signals right and uh, since we are having this truth table so we can uh, find out the equations for output uh, signal output uh, signals in terms of input signals by using this truth table okay so uh, so when you actually try to find out the equation for uh, S and C naught in terms of A, B and C I what do we do so for min terms what do we take uh, we take we take the values of output signal with a value of 1 ok so this term basically uh, basically this term and this term and this you might have studied in your digital electronic subjects ok and this term so for these four terms where the values of output signal s is 1 okay in this case uh, you'll write the equation for uh, the main term equations for s uh, considering that a is for this case when a is 0 b is 0 ci is 1 so we will write the term as a bar b bar ci because ci is 1 and since these are two are zero so it will be a bar b bar okay so this will constitute the first term and similarly you will write uh, the second term third term here and the fourth term here and uh, when you simplify these things okay and then you will get a equation you will get an equation for sum like this a b bar c i plus a bar b c i bar plus a bar b bar c i plus a b c i ok so perform that uh, 
uh, simplify the equation logically and you will get this equation okay and this is uh, nothing but the a xor b xor c i basically okay so you can write in shortcut like this symbolically that is s is equal to a xor b and i xor with c i okay and similarly we can also find out the equation for c out in terms of input signals and when you uh, take out uh, the terms for these four conditions you will get the simplified equation as that c0 is equal to ab plus bci plus aci okay so these are the equations that uh, one will get uh, from this truth table for this full adder circuit right okay and uh, what are these uh, delete and propagate and generate uh, uh, this will become like this will come later on but still because since we, we, we are going to use this anyway so let me tell this about uh, it here itself so look at this this is the uh, uh, status of carry output produced okay that is the C naught the carry the status of this C naught now look at here uh, so for these the first two rows okay uh, this is written as delete and delete so delete and delete means that uh, irrespective of the value of input signals that is irrespective of the value of a b and c i okay the carry out is always uh, remaining zero in this case okay whether a b c i are zero 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 or zero zero one it doesn't matter it doesn't matter the value of uh, c naught is always zero for these first two cases okay and look at the last two cases the last two cases here this is written as generate generate means to generate something okay and in binary in digital electronics generate would be to generate like uh, we know that there is a low logic and high logic uh, system here so you can uh, 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 you can uh, understand it like this that it is generating since because it is for deletion for the delete case it is zero zero so for the generate case it would be one one here okay so for uh, these two cases when a b and c i that is r one one zero and one 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 okay one 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 the value of uh, the c naught remains one okay that it generates the output signal for these two cases okay now here is the twist point here is the twisting point that look at the middle four conditions here look at the middle four conditions where it is written as propagate propagate okay now if we can find out a relation between these propagate carry output status that is 0 1 0 and 1 here with respect to the input signals a b and c then the all all these uh, all these things will become clear okay now you can understand it like this the propagate mode is uh, that mode which uh, like what is the literal meaning of propagation like if I say that I am uh, something is being propagated it means that some previous value is coming as the present value okay so some previous thing is being propagated as a new thing right and this is exactly what is being done here okay the previous carry input was zero and the current carry input carry output is zero so the previous carry value is being propagated as the new carry value and look at here again one and this also remains one 
okay this is zero this also remains zero this is one this also remains one okay so for these four cases the output carry is uh, equal to the value of input carry values it means that the input carry is being propagated to the next uh, output carry the input carry is being propagated as the value for the next uh, as the value for the output carry as well okay so this thing is clear propagation okay now but there is one uh, doubt still that uh, would be in your mind i know that thing that the doubt would be there and that is that that uh, for delete c not is 0 0 right for generate it is 1 1 fine and for propagate we have 0 and 1 both okay so how to differentiate between a uh, delete uh, status delete condition or propagate condition or generate condition because we know that uh, since these are uh, dealing with the uh, digital signals so it can have only two values 0 and 1 so how to differentiate between this zero and this zero or uh, uh, as a matter of fact how to differentiate between this carry out one and this carry out one okay if we are able to differentiate the conditions for between this zero this zero and this zero then the things will become clear okay now we can differentiate this lo by looking at the value of input signals a and B so look at here for the first two rows A and B both are 0 A0 zero, B0 zero, A0 zero, B0 zero. and this both are 0 only for these two condition these two rows and it doesn't exist anywhere else so here is the condition that when A and B both are 0 then in that case C out will be 0 directly okay so this is the first case that will differentiate that will tell that will uh, give us the condition for delete carry status right and for the generate carry status uh, the output carry will be generated as one only when a and b both are one a is one b is one a is one b is one okay and for any other case a and one a and b both are not equal to one they are one only for these two rows the last two rows so this is also differentiated differentiable by <coughs> uh, looking at the values of a and b when both are one simultaneously then only the carry output will be equal to one one or the carry status will be a generate and under this status status the value of c out will be one and one okay so we are left with uh, this propagate status how to differentiate how to know that it's a propagate okay propagate is fine the input carry is being propagated propagated to the output carry but how to mark it how to uh, uh, recognize that this is the case for propagate look at here a0 b1 a0 b1 a1 b0 a1 b0 so can you mark a, s a pattern here that when one of the signal is 0 and other signal is 1 that is they are not equal right when a is 0 b is 1 when a is 1 b is 0 so when they are not equal then we understand that this is the case of a carry propagate status and the input carry is just being forwarded to the output carry output carry uh, port okay so we got the uh, condition that how to recognize it as a delete state carry status or a propagate carry status or a generate carry status okay so keep this thing in mind keep these points in mind okay then it because it will be useful for the next for the uh, next coming slides okay now uh, uh, this is a uh, complementary status CMOS full adder okay and uh, for this thing 
uh, keep in mind these equations the equation for s was a x or b x or c that is this equation we have four terms okay four and terms one two three and four and we need one two three or uh, these plus denotes or gates so we need three or gates okay for s right so look at here uh, if we can uh, uh, see this sum is coming here right but uh, before that uh, before that uh, I think uh, we can focus on this C out that is the carry output okay so we'll come to this later on now this carry output uh, this is an inverter okay so this is just inverting the signal coming at its output right so it means that this is uh, C out is equal to X bar okay C out is actually equal to X bar because this is an inverter right so if we can know the value of x bar if we can know the expression for x bar then we can uh, we can uh, find out that whether this c naught is correct or not okay now look at here that uh, this is the pull up network the upper one comprising of pmos network pmos transistors and the lower one is the pull down network okay this is the pull down network you remember this thing from the CMOS and this is pull up network okay and remember uh, try to remember one thing that whenever you uh, try to construct a circuit uh, by using CMOS uh, uh, technology the resulting output is inherently inverted in nature okay then whatever output you get directly from this uh, uh, this common point between pull up network and pull down network this value is always uh, coming in inverted form okay so you will have to use you have to you will have to use one extra inverter to get the non inverted output signal okay <coughs> now this output x is taken from here and this uh, a and b are in series so so this is like a dot b okay now here a and b are in parallel okay so this is a plus b a or b and they are getting multiplied by this c so this a plus b which is, which is coming from this block okay now this is in series with this c i so in series means they are multiplied that is ended so this a plus b uh, dot ci and this whole block is in parallel with this with this block okay so this whole equation would be odd with the result of this branch and in this branch we have a and b in series so they should be ended a dot b and when we expand this we get a c i odd with b c i odd with a b okay and this is the equation and uh, x would be x would be the bar that is the inverted form of this whole value okay and uh, when you look at this equation that is uh, expression that is ac plus bc plus ab this is nothing but the expression for carry output okay so this x is actually equal to c not bar okay so when it is passed through a simple inverter you will get you, you get again one more inversion and you get as c not value so here this is actually equal to c not bar it passes through an inverter and becomes c not here that is output carry okay is it uh, this is clear 
and similarly I leave this thing as a homework for you to verify this particular uh, uh, this particular network okay and uh, see whether you are getting the same expression uh, whether you are getting the uh, expression for sum here correctly or not remember this is again an inverter this is again an inverter okay and uh, here you are getting s bar and this is being inverted here to get s okay so you just have to just need to uh, you know uh, verify this pull down network and see what it's coming here okay hopefully you will be able to do it if uh, there is uh, any doubt just uh, you can you can contact me okay now uh, this implementation uh, using static cmos for this full adder you can count on the number of transistors being used here and it comes out that this is using 28 number of transistors okay right okay so this is just a simple implementation of uh, these equations fine and uh, let's move on to the next type of adder that is called as ripple carry adder ripple carry adder okay as the name suggests ripple carry adder ripple carry that is the carry is some sort of rippled through the adder rippling means it's passing through stages from one stage to the next stage to the next stage to the next stage and you can see that if this is the first stage let's say this is uh, f a 0 this is uh, this is f a 1 this is f a 2 and this is f a 3 okay okay so this is uh, full adder number 0 this is full adder 1 full adder 2 full adder so uh, it's a four stage ripple carry adder four stage ripple carry adder uh, being constructed with the help of four number of full adders okay so it's be it is using four full adders the first second third and fourth okay so uh, and for each of these full adders we know that there are three input signals and two output signals so let's start with the first full adder the three input signals are a naught b naught and the carry input c i naught okay and the corresponding output signals are s naught the sum and the carry output this one c naught c naught zero let's say okay now the thing is that the carry output of f a zero is acting as the carry input to the next stage okay so this is uh, you can think of it as a solution to the problem where you have a task of adding uh, uh, adding multiple bits adding multiple bits so let's say if I say that uh, a I want to add a and B both are four bits both are of four bit width so how to add one way is to directly use a ripple carry adder so if a and b both are four bit numbers i can write a as a naught a one sorry this should be okay a naught a1 a2 and a3 should be added with the b naught okay because b is also a 4 bit number b1 b2 and b3 okay so what is the rule the rule is that first we add the lowest low, low sig lowest significant bit that is a naught with b naught a sum 
let's say s naught is produced and a carry will be there the carry can be a zero or one so whatever is the carry that carry is being propagated to the next stage and this carry is nothing but but actually this c naught c o zero that is c o zero okay and also uh, in the very beginning when we are adding when you are adding a naught with b naught we can assume that there might be a carry input coming from the previous stage okay so you can write like this the carry input that is c i zero now this can be a zero or one depending on the value of carry input coming from the previous stage okay so if there is a task of adding uh, two num adding two numbers which are multiple bit width multiple bit wide then how to do that a single full letter would be insufficient right so in that case you will have to construct some sort of circuit which is capable of adding multi uh, operand uh, with multi bit widths okay so one example of such kind of adder is a ripple carry adder it's a straightforward adder so we need to add a naught with b naught so a naught b naught is coming here with the carry input okay the carry output of this stage is going to the next carry uh, next stage so this carry output is going to the next stage as carry input and here we need to add a1 with b1 a1 with b1 so a1 is coming here and b1 is com coming here right and the carry output of this is acting as the carry input to the next stage and the next stage we, we will feed a, a2 with b2 and the carry output of this stage will again act as the carry input to the next stage and here is a case when a3 and b3 are coming a3 and b3 are coming along with the carry output from the previous stage okay and this will produce the corresponding sum and the carry output okay so this is the final carry output that is being produced okay and i can write here that here this stage will produce s1 this stage will produce s2 this stage sorry uh, this should be two uh, by mistake it is written as three okay this one. Okay, uh, this stage will produce S2, this stage will produce S3 along with the carry output. The carry output is C03. That is this carry output. So this carry output is the final carry output of this whole adder. Okay. And we can see very clearly that the carries produced are getting rippled between stages from the uh, fa0 stage to fa1 stage from fa1 stage to fa2 stage and so on so since carry is rippling in this uh, kind of adder it's called as a ripple carry adder okay so uh, uh, it's an adder which will add which is capable of adding multiple width numbers okay but uh, the operation is such that that one stage depends on the carry input coming from the previous stage okay so the output of any stage will not be able to produce the outputs unless the previous stage carry input carry the unless the previous stage carry output reaches to its carry input okay and this is the thing that makes it slow because this stage has to wait for the output carry coming from the previous stage and similarly this stage would be again waiting for this co2 signal to come from fa2 fa2 is waiting for fa1 fa1 is waiting for the carry output from coming from fa0 Although knowing that A0 and B0 might, A0, A B0, A1, B1, A2, B2 and A3, B3, these all signals might be applied at the same time simultaneously. 
So all these signals might be applied at the same time, but still, uh, still uh, knowing that A2, B2 might be available for addition and because this carry input is not available because it has not reached from its previous stage. So, it is unable to calculate the value of S2 and CO2. It will produce the value of S2 and CO2 only after knowing the value of CO1 which is coming from the previous stage and this will be it again for CO0. Okay. So, this is the issue here that this thing this limitation makes this adder slow because of this ripple carry uh, action that is taking place with between the consecutive stages. Okay. So, uh, the worst case delay linear with is linear with the number of bits that is the delay T D the delay time uh, varies with or is the order of n where n is the number of stage okay and it is a function of uh, it it varies linearly and when you calculate try to calculate the value of uh, uh, delay for this adder that is t adder and uh, since we had just seen the operation of this ripple carry adder you will find out that this uh, uh, delay would be coming out as n minus 1 t carry plus t sum and how is this coming? So, let us say uh, here why it is not ok. Hmm. Uh, Let us assume that since here n is equal to 4 the number of stage this is the first stage this is second stage this is third stage and this is the fourth stage ok. So, this is uh, circuit with n equal to 4. Now, in this case uh, the adder delay would be n minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 3 times it takes to calculate uh, one carry out. Okay. Look at here the first stage is calculating S naught and C naught okay. and we know the equation for S naught contain XOR gates and the equation for C naught contain OR and AND gates okay. and the equation for C naught is simpler as compared to the equation for S naught. Okay. So, it means that the delay produced uh, between S naught and C naught for these two cases the delay for S naught will be higher as compared to C naught, but still, but still because uh, S one is S naught is a intermediate result okay and C naught is the value which will feed to the next stage and it will finally produce finally give us the final final carry output okay so unless C naught is uh, calculated it cannot initiate uh, F A 1 okay this is F A 0 F A 1 okay F A 2 that is why uh, here in this case the production of C naught is more critical as compared to the production of S naught. Okay, even let us say uh, if C naught is uh, getting produced after uh, let us say 10 nanosecond and this is taking let us say 15 nanosecond it does not matter okay, because uh, it will take 15 nanoseconds fine, but what will happen after 15 nanoseconds unless my C naught is is not available we cannot uh, go and produce the final all these values. Okay. So, the time for the calculation of C naught is more critical here in this case. Okay. So, the output carry of the first stage that is the first stage the output carry of second stage the output carry of third stage. So, three stages carry out producing uh, if the time delay for carry output uh, signal to come from one stage is t carry. Okay. So, from three stages it will be 
3 into t carry assuming that n is equal to 4 here in this case. So, till here till here 3 times that is for this case for this case and this case the uh, uh, the first carry out delay plus the second carry out delay plus the thir third carry out delay. So, 3 times the delay that it takes to produce one output carry signal till here uh, it is like this ok. But the last stage is different because we are assuming that it is a four stage sum ok. So, this is the last stage this is the last stage ok and let us say if it takes uh, 15 nanoseconds and if it takes 10 nanoseconds and I know that this is the last carry output uh, this is not going to uh, you know feed any to the next stage. So, here what it matters the production of S3 because uh, this may be produced earlier than this but unless S3 is coming out from FA3 we cannot calculate the final value of sum knowing that the final value of sum will be come uh, final value of addition will be containing S0, S1, S2, S3 and C03 all ok. So, for the last stage the addition the delay for this S3 should be taken into account and that is why this one T sum is here where T sum is the delay that one adder takes to produce a sum signal ok. So, uh, the delay for this adder can be calculated in this fashion ok and it can be very well uh, extended to more number of stages ok. So, some important points that carry ripples from one full adder to the next we have seen this and this because of this effect the delay is increased here. So, this fact increases the delay value and it is uh, actually a slow process because the things are things have to you know the at the successive stages have to wait for the carry from the previous stages to reach and then it slows the process ok and uh, it sort of takes consumes more area as compared to other uh, types of adders. But uh, we can always use a method called pipelining to make it faster. But again when we pipeline a circuit that uh, means that some extra logic in the form of buffers have to be inserted in the circuit within the circuit and that makes it even more uh, area consumable circuit. The area consumed increases although the throughput may be increased or the uh, it can be made faster by using pipelining but pipelining comes with a certain disadvantage disadvantage that it increases the area also. So, be careful when we want to use a pipeline in your circuit, when you want to apply a pipeline in your circuit, be careful. Okay. I mean to say that you should be clear that what is the aim of a circuit, whether you want to make it area efficient or power efficient or delay efficient. Okay. Uh, okay. So, this is the thing here for ripple carry adder and then we will see uh, the next type of adder called as the carry look ahead adder ok and uh, we will see this thing uh, in the next class we will see this thing in the next lecture.